Hello Varshal here and welcome to a new video. So in today's video I am going to be showing you the maintenance I do for my 20 gallon salt water tank and get you one step closer to wanting a salt water tank since I really think it's an interesting aspect of the aquarium hobby and everybody should give it a try. You can watch my recent videos after this to find out more on saltwater aquarium myths and the, my own saltwater tank. So like any other aquarium, I start off with switching off all the electrical inputs except for the light since I find that it helps me find all the debris and poop and all the dust and all the bad stuff. I drain approximately 25% with my trusty siphon. This is a cheap 5 dollar or 200 rupee siphon and it helps me a lot in removing all the poop. After I throw all that nasty water away, I get some new water. This is just dechlorinated tap water and I find a many people I find many people think that you have to use RODI water and this is simply not the case. Yes, it helps for weaker organisms like coral and helps in prevention of algae but there's no like your fish will do just fine without RODI water. Just make sure it's dechlorinated and good for the fish. You'll also need some of the other things like salt. I'm using red sea salt since I find that it works really well. And a hydrometer which is just a simple tool to measure the salinity fancy word for saltiness of the water. So to start off, we measure the salinity of the water. As you can see, the salinity is at zero parts per thousand or one specific gravity. This is the salinity of fresh water or in other words, no salinity. We want to get it to a specific gravity of the of 0 0.025 or 34 ppt. To do that, we have to add our salt. So, salt comes in many brands. In my opinion, just find the brand that is the best recommended and at the same time cheap for you. That is Red Sea's Blue Bucket Salt. So, I like to first add one cup slowly. If you add too fast, it might cause precipitation, which is bad. So now let's check again. The con of using a hydrometer instead of a refractometer is that air bubbles can give a wrong reading sometimes. But as you can see the salinity is now 22 parts per thousand but we want to get it to 34 parts per thousand so I'm going to add one more cup so as you can see now the arrow is at 1.025 specific gravity or 34 parts per thousand ppt which is perfect. So now we can add the salt water. So I hope
hope you like that video and if you did like share and subscribe comment your suggestions below if you can donate on patreon since i'm working on a huge aquascape video coming soon about that and until the next time peace out